Hi guys and welcome to another WordPress video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to show you how to add a very cool plugin to your site called Convey This and what it does it'll translate your site from your native language to whatever other, other language you want. I've got it here English and French. And as you can see when I click on the French it switches it to French and this will work with the blogs as well if I click on one of the blogs you can see it's turned it all to French obviously it can't do anything that's in an image that's actually in the image all this but any of the words on there it can do for you and it will actually translate the image metadata the tags and everything with it as well so it's searchable SEO and as you can see, if I flip back the English, it can put it back into English for us. Now I've got mine up in the menu here, which is an option. Uh, but as default, it comes with just this little pop up on the bottom there, which is fine. And the great thing about this for one language, it's absolutely free. And what you need to do is go to conveythis.com. I'll put the URL rail down below, but you can also go there from the plugin. I'm using the absolutely free one here, and you can have one extra language. 2,500 translated words, which is, you know, for a small site, it's plenty. Monthly page views of 10,000. And like I say, that is absolutely free. If you're going to be using more than that, you're probably going to want to upgrade to the business or the pro plan. But to get started, this free one is absolutely amazing. And it's not like Google Translate, which does it all in your browser. It actually does it from their servers. So it should be a lot quicker and a lot more accurate as well. And it also gives you the option, if you see something that's incorrect, you can go and edit it yourself on their server. So let's get started. I'll go and uninstall this and go through the install process. So I'll just pause this while I uninstall it. Okay, as you can see, I removed the plugin now. We've lost our little two languages up there and our little pop up at the bottom. So let's get started installing. I'm going to want to go to my dashboard and down to plugins. So I'll be on the dashboard, go down to plugins. I'm going to go ahead and hit the add new. I'm going to search for the plugin right here. I'm going to type in convey this, all one word. And as you can see, it's going to ask us to install it. Go ahead and install it. Once installed, let's go ahead and activate it. Once the plugin's been installed and activated, you can go down and you'll see it in your menu down here. So let's click on this. Now we can see up here it says convey this plugin is installed but not yet configured. Now we need to go to convey this and sign up for a free account. They don't take a credit card or anything like that. It's just your name, address and regular details. And you'll get an API key. I've done that already obviously. And I signed up for my little account here and I chose the free plan. And now if I go back to the dashboard, it'll give me an API key. And it tells me about my current plan, how many words I've used, total page views, total languages, it, we can only have one with the free one. And here's the API key underneath, so I'm going to copy that. And you can just hit the little copy symbol to copy it, it'll tell you it's copied. Let's go back to our website and paste in the API key right here. There we go. Now, what language is the source language? Well, it's English. And target language is the only other language I speak is French. So let's type in French. So I can't check it if I put in one that I can't speak. But uh, I'm sure that it works perfectly. And when you're happy, just hit the save changes. Now depending on the 
size of your site mine's not huge here it's a fairly modest sort of blog site it may take a few minutes for it to actually translate it for you so let's actually visit the site and see how it's doing so far okay well I see it's inserted our little flag down the bottom here we got English at the moment if I click on it there's the French that we put in and with the free plan you've got to have the powered by convey this their little logo there that's fair enough for a fair plan I think let's hit the French and there we are it's translated it to the French Google's asking if we want to translate it back no thank you bienvenue sur notre blog oh, yeah, that's good complete bootstrap for multi-page web de construire installation de wordpress yep all looks fine to me let's click on a blog to make sure installation de wordpress yep yeah. fantastic fantastic installation of wordpress in automatic in mania yep yeah. all looks good to me and it's sorted the categories as well category order computers great like I say it can't do anything about the images if it's image text images will stay the same but it has done the menu up here I like that blog tech courses free courses contact us and YouTube great so fantastic let's change it back So, so far I'm very impressed I must admit and like I say this is done on their fast servers it's not done on your browser like uh, Google Translate so it's pretty quick and that's pretty impressive okay okay so I want to add it to my menu up here as well and that's great but people might miss that down there whereas if it's up here it'll give it to them so let's go back to our convey this settings remember if you're not there dashboard down to convey this and uh, let's show more options here some of these you can't change like hide the convey this logo you can't change that on the free plan but that's like I say that's not a problem that's fair enough they're giving us this free I don't mind advertising it for them translate media that's great because what that'll do is all your images have what they call an alt tag in the HTML HTML or it should have anyway they should have an alt tag describing what the image actually is and a lot of people use this for SEO they'll put in keywords and and uh, geo data and what have you it'll translate that to your translated choice of language which mine is French and that actually makes it uh, SEO searchable as well whereas you don't get that with Google Translate so that's huge for SEO in your in different countries or the country that your new language is you can choose it to uh, translate PDF files as well that's great as well I don't have many on here but I, I work on a lot of sites that do use that so that would be that would be a pretty awesome little feature now what I was saying about the SEO make sure you got that checked and it will actually make sure your metadata and everything like that gets translated and that can be searched customized language that's fine you can choose a sort of flag that you want rectangle square circle flag let's change it to a circle just for fun and you can actually change the type of flag that you have down here um, for instance if you wanted to show an Albanian flag for the English you could put English in there and put Albanian I'm not going to <laughs> I'll just leave that as is but if you wanted to do that good example would be if you were in England you would want that to have the Union Jack the British flag there and I'm in the US so I'm happy to have it have the US flag for US English there so that works for me okay so we want to add it to our menu to do that we need to go to our parents like any other WordPress site appearance and down to menus and once they're in there you're going to see a little convey this widget at the bottom here just simply click on it 
decide what you want. I want both English and French. And remember, if you've got one of the other plans, you may have five or six different languages there. So you can select the ones you want to appear. And let's add it to the menu. There we go. And I think I'll put it right at the top, at the front, so people are not going to miss it. And I'm not going to think it's a page. Let's save the menu. Let's go back to our site and do a refresh. And there we have it. There's our English and French little switches at the top there. We've still got the one at the bottom, but they're not going to miss this. And again, let's flip it over to French. Oui, installation of the WordPress. Emon automatique. Emmanuel. Fantastic. And we don't need our Google Translate. Thank you very much. So I'm really impressed with that. Let's go back to our home page. It should still all be in French. Fantastic. I like it. Like I say, for a free version, that's absolutely awesome. And for a little bit of money, you can upgrade your site and have several different languages. If I was building this in Europe, I'd be upgrading and getting that plugin and doing several European languages. That is really impressive, convey this. So there you have it guys, that's how to add a language switch to your site. Free plugin, convey this. Try it, I think you'll like it. Well I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please ring the bell, give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.